I'm afraid it's further indecision. The Chancellor says the British economy is not flexible enough. In fact, it's the Chancellor who is being inflexible. On the basis of these reports, he could and should have recommended that we go in. He should have set a firm date for a referendum next year on the same day as the European elections and a target date for entry. Ho paura che questo vuol dire che il suo indecisione è finale. Uh, la Gran Bretagna ancora una volta uh, non ha preso questa decisione. Il cancelliere dice che l'economia non sia abbastanza flessibile. In, in realtà è lui che non è abbastanza flessibile. E questo vuol dire che la Gran Bretagna sarà come sempre dietro tutta l'Europa in una questione che è molto importante per la nostra economia e per la nostra prosperità. Ça ne va rien résoudre. Le chancelier a dit que l'économie britannique n'est pas assez flexible. En effet, c'est le chancelier qui n'est pas assez flexible. Il ne veut pas prendre cette décision. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Ça veut dire que la Grande-Bretagne va être comme toujours en, en arrière de toute l'Europe dans une décision qui est très très importante pour notre prospérité. I think it's quite clear the economic tests haven't been met, the British people are quite clearly against. He should either have gone one of two ways. He should have said, we'll have a referendum and clear the air, or he should have said, look, leave it for five years, let's stop this festering sore at the heart of the British body politic and get on with the real things that matter in Britain. And I think it's a very, very clear sign from the Chancellor today uh, that he sees the future of Britain in the Euro, the future of Britain as part of the single market being a natural progression forward into the Euro. And a lot of the, um, the Eurosceptic notions he debunked today very seriously. And what I liked about it was that it was about the kind of bread and butter issues. It was quite understandable to normal mortals who, who may be watching uh, because he talked about jobs, about investment and trade and price transparency and how all that translates into a better quality of life for British citizens. So I thought that was very good. And from now on in, we just have to campaign behind those ideas.